Well, Rob, thankfully what happened was nothing more than a mishap. Officials crediting the quick thinking of the two men who were in the truck. They jumped out just in time before the truck was able to hit the water. Still, it was quite the scene this morning. The event being captured on several surveillance cameras in the area. Where there's ice, salt trucks normally improve conditions on paved roads, but conditions were too tough for this park district vehicle this morning. It was salting the lakefront bike path when it hit a slick spot of ice and started sliding backwards into Lake Michigan. As you can see out here on the blacktop, it's like a sheet of glass right now. Security video from a neighbor's home shows how the salt truck, driven by two park district employees, was maneuvering north on the bike path right at the curve when it hit a patch of black ice and started to fishtail. Both men jumped out of the truck before it went into the water, and they are in good condition. The cab of the truck remained above water as crews waited for a heavy wrecker to come in and tow the truck out of the lake. A slow process that eventually came to an end about five hours after the truck first went into the water. The lakefront path was closed from Grand to North because of the slick pavement. A reminder that with higher lake levels, water comes up on the path, creating potentially dangerous conditions. It might not look like it's dangerous, but it could still be a sheet of glass to where anybody can slide and then it's at an angle here so you could slide right into the lake just like this vehicle did. And the park district issued its own advisory to be safe, reminding people to adhere to the advisories along the lakefront and to steer clear of any closures along the lakefront. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.